Hello everyone, hello YouTube, welcome back to Cars with Ben, and thanks for joining me today on another car related video. Um, today I'm just going to talk about Wreckfest and the truck racing, specifically in Wreckfest. Uh, I haven't uploaded for a week and I really, to be honest, ran out of ideas. Uh, but I really wanted to upload something this week, it kind of felt wrong not uploading something. And I wanted, obviously I wanted good content, but this is more, let's treat this as a review of Wreckfest truck racing, which is what I'm going to call it. Um, I hope you uh, are well and are excited for this video. I've been playing a lot of Wreckfest and as, if, as you know I've done a few Wreckfest videos. I've actually done a review so if you haven't got a chance to check that out I'll link it in the description of sort of my take on Wreckfest and why you should buy Wreckfest because I think it's a, an incredibly underrated game. But more specifically let's do the truck racing within this video today. Um, you'll see how much I struggled with this and it's kind of like top tips for when you're playing this if you actually do get around to doing truck racing because there's not it's not as common as the jet demolition derbies um, if you haven't actually played Wreckfest and you, you play something like uh, Dem Driven to Destruction in the past it's definitely worth picking up um, it is pretty much a modern day Driven to Destruction this guy completely ran me off so I restarted I'm sorry he really screwed me over um, so I was like you know what screw it I'm going to kind of talk about why and how you should drive the truck it's, it's not easy it's very big and it's as you'd expect, difficult to handle. So firstly, as you'll note, the blood of the tracks are incredibly, incredibly tight, so you really need to make sure that, you know, basically you're pushing your way to the front, which I've just done there. Um, it's 100% it's just go for it, smash into everything. I really, really enjoy it, it's a lot of fun, but you just need to be careful when you're online, especially online. Um, so, easy on the throttle for the most part, you don't want to be over over sliding on the corners because it's so easy and my next tip which I'm going to show you which is that is a bit of a pain brake early so you don't smash into anything or go straight off because everyone will go straight off so you need to take it early to you know get through the corners it's kind of like um it's really you can't like floor it with this you'll never be able to take it to the, the very end of the maximum so make sure that when you are driving these trucks online in particular if they're pro players that you kind of getting the best out of the truck and sort of getting the knowledge here to make sure that you're getting better at it, which is what I attain to do with these videos. So that was quite a marvel. Uh, back with sort of the the racing, it's it is a lot of fun. It's um, I had to restart it a few times, but I think on this one I managed to get it. It was just a, it's kind of like a fine tuning exercise of driving on Wreckfest, and it's a hundred percent worth playing. Um, definitely. Um, just what sort of want to update you with the channel as well, uh, where I am. I haven't uploaded and I don't really want to upload unless I have good content that I want to upload. Um, and because of that, I haven't really uploaded it in a week and that may not seem like a lot, but for me that seems like a lot considering I did two or three last week. And I'm really enjoying uploading and I've had a few comments uh, from a lot of viewers and I tried to reply to every single one. Um, so thank you for that. A lot of the comments uh, I try to make sure I do uh, take on into account or just help in some way. Um, it's particularly with making sure this video is 10 minutes. I know this video is going to be 6 minutes 47 but the content was made before this so I've really tried to make sure that's going to be the case. Um, Call of Duty, I play a lot of Call of Duty but I won't probably upload as much because it's strictly car content and that's what I've pledged this channel to be. And I won't upload content that is not relevant or it has to be interested and I have to be excited for it and that's I think the point of YouTube really you've got to make sure that it's good for you and the viewers and I want it to be interesting content that people can take away and you know go forth and whatnot um, and finally I will be doing video on my real Master Mix 5 that I have this is kind of proving a struggle because I'm just trying to find a car park which is to be honest empty in my area um, it's proving really difficult and I think I've got a date where I'm going to plan to try and film it but it's just I want to be on my own obviously if you're ever trying to film something by yourself it's kind of like you just got to do it and not worry about it but finding an empty car park is proving difficult uh, so I will be getting an upload of my car soon and just hoping that'll be a longer video uh, a more interesting video I'm probably going to try and make that probably in a half an hour video who knows it, it's going to be a full in-depth review of my car and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to making that video but it's just a lot of thought has been going into it just for you know a video that I don't get many views on let's be honest um, 
So that's where I'm at with the channel. I'm still bringing, pushing the content and, you know, I, I want it to be interesting. So, there you go. Back to the gameplay. Uh, so, guys, yeah, truck racing, definitely try it out. Definitely get online and do it. It doesn't come up as much just because it's not as popular as the Demolish Arby's, like I said. But it's really worth doing and playing because it's a lot of fun. And if you are someone who only sticks to one type of race, like school bus racing, definitely try out the, the drifting trucks, is what I call them, because they do slide constantly. Um, they can tip over, and it's just a whole lot of fun. And it's it's something that you like doing. It's just something to just kick back and chill. It's one of them you can do after work, and it's 100% a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend picking up Wreckfest. Again, it, it's, a, it's a great underrated game. Um, I think I finished this race just about getting first but it was such a challenge you know that's the other thing if you want a challenge go for it go for a challenge with the truck racing you do have to make a few cheats as you'll see in a minute but it's the only way to do it it's a lot of fun now um, but there you go guys I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did consider subscribing I make weekly car type content at the moment and I'll see you next video peace